We're here on King Edward Avenue, and you would hardly know what to look at it today, but this used to be one of Ottawa's most beautiful boulevards. Some who were around at the time used to even call it the Champs-Élysées of the city. Now, it used to be a community hub for the community of Lower Town, and it remained so until the McDonald Cartier Bridge was built in the 1960s and dumped massive amounts of traffic. They basically rent the community in two and turn this into the ugly traffic sewer that you see today. When the bridge was built, the plan was to construct a freeway right through this path in order to link it with the 417. And the families living on this block were expropriating and their home was demolished. I've spoken to one woman whose grandmother used to live here and she remembers how as a little girl, she used to have picnics on the median right in the middle of King Edward Avenue. She remembers it as a peaceful, tranquil place, but it's hard to imagine anybody having a picnic anywhere near here today. But the freeway was never actually built. Community activism in Sandy Hill blocked it. And even though the homes were demolished, it never actually ran through here. Instead, the traffic was all dumped onto King Edward Avenue, leaving the community with the traffic nightmare that they're still living with. But we're right in the middle of King Edward Avenue. And before the bridge came, this used to be a wide, grassy, shady boulevard lined by two rows of stately elm trees. And I'm told that young lovers used to take walks under these trees right in the middle of King Edward Avenue. It was a romantic spot lit by moonlight under the sound of cicadas. But when the bridge was built and the road was widened, all of those trees were uprooted. And I'm told that it was kind of a traumatizing time for the community because those trees were so beloved. Behind me is 175 King Edward Avenue. And for years, this was the home of Poirier Brothers Grocery. It was one of many family grocers that lined this eastern stretch of King Edward Avenue. There was one on almost every corner. And for the most part, these families lived either right next door or maybe above their businesses. And they were neighbors to the people who lived in the community. So the Holiday Inn over my shoulder at the corner of Murray and King Edward used to be the site of the Mexiki Adas Synagogue, one of two synagogues located on this eastern side of King Edward Avenue. This was a multinational, multicultural area, largely French Canadian, but also Jewish. And King Edward Avenue was a popular site for religious processions traveling under the elm trees. It was also a site for visiting dignitaries to travel along on their way to Rideau Hall to see the Governor General. And King George VI took this route along with Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mum, in 1939. King Edward Avenue was truly a street befitting of a king. So the building behind me was St. Bridget's School, a Catholic boys' school for decades until it became co-ed in 1950. It later moved to uh, New Edinburgh in 1971, soon after the bridge was constructed. Today, it's the soup kitchen for the Shepherds of Good Hope. Despite the damage done to the avenue itself, a number of heritage properties have survived, including this, Fire Station Number 5, lovingly restored, but still missing the tower that existed right there on the top where firefighters used to dry their hoses after a fire. 